Hello everybody, I'm Trist with the Game Show. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Rocket. We last episode blue. Even if you could identify where it goes, the Silphco may be able to unmask him. Okay. Hi, Gastlys. We fought blue. We didn't even fight blue. Blue's like, nah, bro. I don't want to fight you. And apparently, all these Gastlys are suicidal. Apparently, I can't steal from old women. Good to know. I don't want a Cubone. We have a ghastly, okay. Ghastly obviously likes to die. 40 power. Eh, give us coverage. It's not stabbed though, so I guess that's a problem. Actually, let's get Polywag here. My dear Bellspro, I he took a gamble at life. I'm going against a Charizard. Wow. I could steal the guy's ghastly. To be fair, ghastlies are so common in here. It's not worth stealing. There's a Gengar, maybe. We don't. Ooh, D-Rage. What else do we have? Another Ghastly Flamer. Ooh, Fire Fang. Air number. What? Can I find a ghastly, please? I don't want to have to steal one. Shivel, sob. What have I done to my life, to my dearest Pokemon friends who have passed away? Bye, Mr. Mine. Eh, hey, Ghastly. Ooh, a chance to Mr. Mime. 3k for Mr. Mime. Sure, I'll pay 3k for Mr. Mime. Awakening. Woo -hoo -hoo. Beat me not. These things always go for confusion rather than curse. Is that an AI issue? A great ball. There. Our own ghastly. Wink mine. Can I train that up to a Gengar? Can, wait, can we even get Gengar in this game? Because we need to trade originally. Did he change it? I hope he changed it. Go, Snooker! I'll have to look it up. No, fine, Gyarados. Burn works too. Are you, are you suspicious, all oh, Mr. Rocket? See, Grandpa always told me everything in the world has has a rational explanation. Okay. But this place, I really don't know what to make of it. All these channelers are acting so weird, and well, I got the purified protected zone upstairs. They tell me it's sealed by white magic, and when I stepped in it, I could feel my body just relaxing and letting go. I don't know what to believe anymore. Maybe in this world isn't clear cut as Grandpa said. Maybe not. 
But I will take the healing spot. You shall join us! Join us! Okay, can we stop with the ghastlies, please? Rawr. Entering the purified zone, teach Pokemon fully healed. Get a cleanse tag. Come, child! I've sealed this place with white magic! You can rest here! Thank you. Zombies! Chandler Karina! Ooh, Shadow Sneak, that's cool. Num 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 gaslies! Which gaslies probably don't have a taste of them. I don't even know how biting them counts, but hey. Huh, it looks like when we beat them, we knock them back into their senses. I regain my senses. Okay. Can you chill your previously butthole down? Thanks. Please die quicker. I felt evil spirit training in the mountains. A nugget. Ooh, money. Good. I need that nugget to pay off the debt that I just got for stealing a Mr. Mime. Gotta bribe that officer. Those channelers are so weird. They're creepy and any ghost. I even caught a few. Fabian? Or Fabian? And hi, can we please stop with these things? I'll take the curse. It's the pure fight. There you go, that's better. Let me derage you. And then l kick, I was gonna say. And then lightning fang you! Nah, I don't wanna steal. The kid's Arbok. It's an Arbok, come on. Do I have a reason to steal an Arbok? Give me blood! Or give me Spartans! Gyarados, leader of the pack! Destroyer of evil spirits! Destroy your spirits! <laughs> I shall purify you with a Gyarados' wrath! <laughs> well, are you ready? We're almost there. I can sense something ominous by the staircase there. I don't know what it is, but I'm scared. We'll face it. Will you, Mr. Rocket? First, let me grab this for candy. Let me grab an X accuracy. Oh, X accuracy! Yeah. Be gone, intruders! The ghost has appeared. Self Goat revealed the ghost to be Merlock! Num num num, Marowax. Can we catch this thing? Meh. Fine. There we go. Mine now. No ghost for you. Oh, you have to kill it. Well, we got one now. Kill the second one! The ghost was reckless spirit of the Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit appeared the moment it had been calmed, but it changed its mind. 
If thou consents not my not calm me, for thou intruder shall not be pure. Thou hast come only to bring more harm upon my kind, to profit from agony and death. Tuss, the most despiteful greed. Thou art evil. Evil. Okay, cool. What was that thing all about? It talked weird. Do you have any idea what that was what I was talking about? Yeah, me either. Thou art evil. Evil. Well, up we go, I guess. Uh, who are you? Why have you come? Nope, that uniform. Ugh, you filthy rockets. You cannot leave me alone, my pure you cannot leave me and my poor little town alone. I refuse to let leave this tower, and you cannot make me, scoundrel. Oh, boss battle. Let's see what we can do here. It's focusing its energy to crit us harder. False swipe? False swipe can never kill us, though. A hyperbot! Oh no! D Ridge! All the EXP. I got you! Wish we had Voltas Orb. Out of here. Lick a tongue. Not a fighting type. I will stand him, Guilty on. Thunderfang. Disable. Well then. It's fine. We'll just go back to our double kicking it then, because that's actually fighting. Oh, stop. Oh, okay, fine. Gyarados. Eat it. A ditto. Ooh, this could be very good for us or very bad. Speaking of Pidgeotto, you fly so it can't transform. Ha! Ugh, I will not stand for this! Can I steal this ditto? Disgusting hooligan, have you no shame? Not only have you have the nerve and audacity to come here and stop me on my noble mission to claim the spirit of a murderer, Pokemon, but your insistent greeting prompts you to snatch my innocent Pokemon right from under my nose? Yep. Why are you here to detain me? To kick me out? Maybe you have me suffer the same fate as those Cubone, is that it? My own skull hanging in Giovanni's office as some type of trophy? Wouldn't surprise me, that's greedy immortal crook. He's living in the past, you know, your boss. He's bound to fail. He couldn't bring down Lance back when he had the entire Kanto army on his side. And now he thinks he's going to do it through some underground pseudo-mafia? He's mad, loony. But you know, I'd let Giovanni run this delusional crime thing in circles ten times over if he just stopped meddling with me and my innocent affairs of the town. Keep me out. I want nothing to do with you. I left my work on the Mewtwo project behind me 11 years ago. Do you hear me? I am a different man now, and those were different times. Oh, if only I'd seen things I've seen, young man. You turn and leave your boss's service without a second thought. 
I swear, when I stood before it, that evening in the lab, that thing, the catastrophe, when I saw the admiration we had created, the abomination we had created with our own bare hands, I thought I'd seen the root of all evil itself. I'm telling you, it looked like, like, like something not very nice. Yeah, I've got the picture. We get the picture, old man. You! Nice to finally see you again, Fuji. How have you been? Good job in camp incapacitating the guy, Tej. I was afraid I'd have to do it myself. I'll take it from here, if you don't mind. That's a nice little rant you made there, Fuji. But we've heard it before, haven't we? I suppose you also told Tej here how you rush to plead with the Alliance to Lance to save your own skin the moment Oak called for the surrender. How you're willing to give away confidential scientific information in return for this for state-sponsored retirement fund in safe little small town home from yourself? Your little do-good innocent old man act that you put on in this town is fooling no one, Fuji. Besides, Oak, you're the biggest coward traitor the region has ever seen. What? You're insane, Rocket! Should I have kept fighting? What for? Lance? Kanto? Johto? I swear that I was inconceivable. I was merely being realistic. And look at you, Rockets! Stealing innocent trainers' Pokémon, slaughtering Cubone and flipping their skulls for profits. How in the world could you pretend to be moral morally superior? Team Rocket pretends to do nothing. It's not, Fuji. Oh, different voice. But consider this. Heard of Lance's grand new anti-crime program? His promise to bring us just to promise his promise to bring us the justice. Well, how many resources have dedicated to stop us killing Cubone here, huh? Where is he now to save your ass from the evil bandits? And you know that his innocence to wreck his precious tower of yours apart and let private entertainment enterprise set up shop here in this place? Oh, you mean the radio tower? Defending old Kanto's honor may be no walk in the park, but you are sure as hell not getting- Oh my god, I forget his voice. Any more security by sucking up the lance if that's what you think. Lies! All lies! I've had enough of this. Special order from the boss, Tej. I'm gonna take you over detaining Fuji here for the time being. I've got plenty of reinforcement grunts heading in just for a moment, so I'll be a-okay. You're free to head back to HQ, in other words. Nice work here, kid. Thanks, I guess. Guess this explains how we leave right before Red shows up. Wow, Mr. Rocket, I never knew I'd get to see something like that. Hi, Blue. You Rockets, you're bad, but you're fighting for something too, aren't you? Maybe. You're just not all evil. Nope. I know the other guy called Grandpa Traitor, you know, but I don't know what I should think about anything anymore. But when I when I become champion, I'll be a fair and honorable one. You can count on it. I'm going to stay behind here with the Radicate for a little while longer. Thanks for tagging along with me, Mr. Rocket. I hope to see you again sometime. All right, we can leave now. That was interesting. Got Ditto out of it. And then Mr. Mime and a Cubone. Wait, what? Oak? Excuse me, young man, but were you just leaving the Pokemon Tower? If you don't mind me asking, did you happen to come across a Mr. Fuji in there? An elderly gentleman, short, quiet, kind-looking. He's an old friend of mine, you see. I should really like to... You know, I'm a rocket. Oh, so you are an old man. That outfit of yours. I see how it is. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Never mind my inquiry. Good day. Oh, okay. That was a bit odd. 
So what did we end up with? Besides six thousand dollars. A ghastly that we caught, a marowak that we caught, a ditto that we stole, and a Mr. Mime that we stole. What did Mr. Mime have? Soundproof, meditate, double slot, mimic, and psi wave. And... Bummerang, folks, and two rage falls. Wow. Well, I'll train those up. Can we just fly back? Like, can we still, the? Uh... If you just be a scientist, after you can I? St uh, I guess they can't just grab the Poke Flute. Get myself a Snorlax. I should really name the ones that we own, like the Jolteon and the Gyarados. I have that nugget. Got red candy. That should be enough to pay off our debt. See what our debt is right now. My my, whatever you hear, a rocket bandit the flesh. I'll give you t Giga Drain if you keep your record clean for long enough. Teaches it. Well, let me see. Well, you're not so bad, are you? The bounty on your head is a mere 6k. Oh, a few sit ups here and there. It happened to be the best of us, right? I will bribe you. 6k, so six times of the 10k. God, why wasn't there just pay off debt option? If I can calculate how much I owe in debt. I said it's not like I'm st I'm only stealing things that I can't catch myself, like Mr. Mime and Ditto. Ditto for breeding, more more or less. Ooh, what we got here? Uh-oh. Oh, bye. Cool. Alright. That was interesting. What happened? I, I, I tried to guard the poster. I swear. Uh-oh. What happened here? Dude, I don't even know how to tell you what just went down here. He knocked us all out, all of us. Even the boss! Hell, even me! That little red from Mount Moon? Like, I totally want to tell you, it was a close match, but I didn't even close. He, he's like superhuman. Well, what can I say, Teach? He beat me. He beat all of us. You're going to see the boss? Be warned, he's in a bit of a fren frenzy right now. But I actually completed my mission! Damn, people. Boss, boss, what happened to you, boss? Sounds like he's very cranky. Altaria, it's previously the worst humiliating we've ever been through. Oh. If Lance and the elite four hadn't stormed in here and busted us, us out, we would have been furious. If some pretty small-time gang decided to marshal all of its resources for the successful strike against us, I would have taken it as slightly upon in my honor. But this, Altaria, what did the devil- Oh my god, I can't do my mafia voice anymore! Oh, I hate that I don't remember what voices I give people. But this, Altaria, what the devil could you pretend it- for me for a child? I mean, what an osseous name am I to make of this? Could you scale them? The most prestigious, notorious organization, Ella Canto, bought to its knees by the hands of some, uh, some long word twerp? I am disgusted, revolt, ashamed at our incom- and a little thing of lobby. I've been naive, underestimate the kid. Four badges and a full Pokemon in his arsenal? Oh, he's a Charizard. 
Who knows, before we know it, he'll have earned the right to challenge Verdi and Jim. And I would be damned if its leader shows up and accepts his challenge to you. No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But if it happens, we'll have you ready, Artiana. You know I've always prepared for every eventuality, Giovanni. There are those who can count by your side until the end and beyond. If need be. Which I propose. It would seem if your favorite little grunt has graced us with his presence. Hi! Teach! Hello! I'd be so frank to let you Fuji's antics are the least of my concerns at the moment, but let's hear whatever you have to report anyways. Quickly, you hear? What's that? There's more. Oh? Oh, could it be? Well, fine. You pegged my interest. Take it from the start, if you would. You mean with Bill? A Palatown naive, then. And licensed for Pokemon training by a, a chief trader himself. Well, that explains how the kid got a hold of a freak of a Charizard, at least. Oh, shit. So, Oak is looking for Fuji, is he? God, what is he planning? Does he know about us? This could be bad. This could be very bad indeed. I think, Tej. I think it's about time you learn the truth. The things that happened in secret, the final year of the war, I never thought I would tell it to a mere grunt, but I believe you've proven yourself worthy of hearing it. So far, I'm the only one that's actually succeeded in any of my missions. And if you're going to work with me, set things straight, it's best you come clean from me. I'm going to tell you everything. It was eleven years ago. 